All righty, Steeler Nation, let's talk about the coaches. Hey guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. No quarterback talk, no Kenny Pickett talk, no Justin Fields, no Ryan Tannehill, no Jimmy G. I heard Jimmy G yesterday. I was like, Jimmy, okay, no Jimmy G talk, none of that stuff. We've got some news that uh, the Steelers have hired a new offensive assistant and also have a role now for Mike Sullivan. So we're going to talk about that. Talk about some coaches. And I'll tell you what, being all the way in Australia, following the Steelers, I'm no expert. I'm not going to say that this coach does this. This coach is fantastic. You can only really go off the results. I'm not in the locker room, right? None of that stuff. I'm just a bloke in his room, talking Steelers with my koala next to me, just chilling out, having a good time. And we're in that mode where we're just waiting for this, waiting for the scouting combine to see these guys run around, uh, play some sort of football. We're waiting for the draft to happen. We're waiting for the free agent period to open up so we can try and nail down the quarterback as best we can. Because right now, there are about 12 to 13, 15 quarterbacks that are going to be quarterback number one. And none of them right now are going to be, are going to be Kenny Pickett. Anyways, i got to move on from that. i got to move on from that. i uh, got some news here with um, uh, Mike Sullivan. So Mike Sullivan was a quarterback's coach last year with Kenny Pickett. He is apparently getting a better role uh, with the Steelers, or not a better role, a different role with the Steelers. So Steelers have retained former quarterbacks coach Mike Sullivan and promoted him to senior offensive assistant, which is kind of cool. And also, too, guys, we've got uh, like this is how these things have been working out. You put the rumors aside, right? Put all these crazy rumors aside with the quarterback, uh, quarterback controversy and all this kind of crap. Put that aside. The Steelers are doing what is really expected to do. If you didn't have Twitter or you're just watching from afar, going to the bar, going to cafes, you know, just turning on the news every now and then, you would see these things happen as a natural progress, right? Right now, they're hiring all the coaches. They got Art Smith. He's from the Falcons, ex-Falcons head coach. I think fans are kind of, you know, calmed down a bit now too of like they weren't so angry at the very start. Some, some people are very angry about the situation. And also, he was a Tennessee Titans OC, OC. So they've calmed down. Steelers went and got him. They've hired about five or six coaches we're going to go into in a minute. And also, they've cut Trubisky, Chooks, and Presley Harvin. They're doing things slowly, but in a normal fashion and not rushing into things or going super crazy with these rumors. So everything's happening happening day by day. Rightio. So Sullivan, and also too, Mike Sullivan, not the coach for the Penguins, I know the Penguins are in a little bit of trouble too, and some of the fan base in Pittsburgh isn't too happy um, if you are a Penguins uh, supporter for the NHL. Not too happy at all. So Mike Sullivan's been promoted to senior offensive assistant. Uh, Sullivan served as team's play call after Matt Cannon was fired. We all know that. Mid-season, he interviewed for the Raiders and Saints for their OC jobs after the season, but, but ultimately decided to come back to Pittsburgh. That's awesome. Now, I do want to mention one thing. Like I said at the very start, I don't know what these coaches actually do. I've never played football, American football. I've played like flag football. I've been in part of drills and stuff like that. I've never been around a locker room, never been around really a play sheet. And uh, I find it funny sometimes when fans act like they do or fans act like they know more than the coaches or fans act like they know more than the organization, right? Because I, I retweeted this. I retweeted this thing. It was from Steelers Update. I retweeted it. And then straight away when I retweeted it, I got this message back from someone on Twitter. It says uh, some bloke here called Lay Layan says, he's trash. Do something, Omar. How do you know that Mike Sullivan's trash? Like, let, let's, be, let's be honest and real right now. How do you know that that guy is trash? And what does that even mean? Like dead set, what does that even mean? You're not in the locker room. You're not around any of these, any these players or coaches or what they're doing, and they just go and bag them out like that because he got it because he got a job. Mike Sullivan um, is getting now a senior offensive assistant. He's got the job. The next bloke in the retweet under my comments said he's trash. Do something, Omar. I always find that funny because we look. I look to I look to other coaches uh, like Grady Grady o Brown. Um, on the defense or, you know, Aaron Curry, I, I follow him on Twitter and I see what they're talking about. 
but I don't know the schematics or the ins and outs of what they're, you know, trying to implement into the defense or the offense. And the other blokes on Twitter, he's trash, he's awful. Give the bloke a chance, right? Last year, I talked about I talked about it as well. Last year, Omar Khan and Mike Tomlin got a 10 and 7 record. They went to the playoffs and they lost. If you're trying to maybe separate from Colbert to Omar Khan and their first season together with Omar Khan and Tomlin, they got 10 and 7. The next step now is to go 11 and 6, 12 and 5, win a playoff game and try and win the division. That's the next step. So shout out to Mike Sullivan, who's got the job back. And this guy, go kick rocks because you don't have no, you have no idea what these coaches are doing any, any more than I do. Radio. Uh, also today we had uh, the Steelers have hired offensive assistant Matt Baker, who has strong ties to new OC Arthur Smith and new quarterbacks coach Tom Arth. Now, on that subject, Tom Arth, I think, was, was working with Justin Herbert in the Charger land at the same time, too. I did some research, did some Steel on Asian Australia research, right? I found out this stuff here. So quarterbacks coach here, Tom Arth, he's new. Uh, Zach, I can't pronounce this bloke's name. Zach, Az- Zach Azini, he's a wide receiver. Eddie Faulkner, we know he's there. He was doing the play calling uh, last year, you know, setting up the plays. Pat Meyer's been there a fair bit. Alfredo Roberts, been there a long time. All right, but go down the bottom. The Steelers have added one, two, three, four, four, four coaches, right? People talk about change. This is change. So uh, offensive assistant, Matt Baker, and also offensive assistant, uh, Matteo Cam Bowie, right? So Matt Baker and Tom Arth have a connection together. However, at the same time, two blokes from Matt Baker, and Cam Bowie also know Art Smith. So Art Smith is bringing his guys back. I went to the Falcons, uh, I think it was Falcon season in 2023, and we have here that Matteo Cambu, I think I said, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but Matteo Cambui, it was offensive line assistant, and also we had special teams assistant was Matt Baker, right? So talk about a little, little bit of a coaching tree, um, Arthur Smith is bringing his guys over to this team and it should look different. And I was just listening to uh, DK Sports. I was talking about how, you know, more some of these guys are like, uh, some of the coaches are more quarterback centric to try and help out Kenny Pickett. And right now, there is no move on Fields or Russell Wilson or anyone like that. I know Fields did an interview. He did say that the Steelers were one of his like top three favorite places to play away. Um, he did say as well, he has like his, his allegiance or he has like his, his connection and he's committed to, to be a bear, but you're going to say that for sure. I still don't believe that's going to happen. It's going to be Kenny Pickett. They're going to go and get a two and get a three in the draft. Anyway, that's quarterback talk again, right? Again. So that deserves to come up. Right. Yeah. So there are coaches, Tom Arth, uh, Zach, Matt and Mateo, right? Four new coaches plus Eddie plus Mike. The guys there were running the ship last year after Matt Canada left. I will admit this. Matt Canada really, I think, brought everything to a st- to a standstill in the last three years that he was there. He was so unbearable to watch. So anything anything has to be better than Matt Canada, right? Trubisky, that was a failed experiment too. They're going to give him all the money and try to make him a quarterback number one and then quarterback two. It really put pressure, uh, I think, on Rudolph and they maybe should have went with Rudolph from the start. So the Steelers did fail from that aspect. They failed from trying to give Canada a chance. Mike Tomlin should have fired Matt Canada at the very start of the season and found somebody else. But at the same time, here we are in 2024. I'm pretty optimistic where this team can go forward and they've got the new OC, new staff members. Uh, They've also hired, I think, someone from the strength and conditioning because one of the blokes was, uh, um, I can't remember his name, that's how bad it is. But the other bloke who was there was there for like 20 years. New guy named Phil, uh, Matt Zoo, Mateus. Dude, these names are intense to pronounce. But there's some changeover in the coaching. And as a fan too, I never really looked at the coaches. Like when I was younger, you saw the head coach, you saw the OC, you saw the DC. Those guys in the background, we don't watch the coaches. We watch the guys on the field. But it's also also a product of them as well. So the players are a product of what the coaches are trying to, to put out on the field, the scheme, schematics, all that kind of stuff, where to run, how to run, how to hit. And, you know, coaching does matter in the NFL. Like you look to... I hate to say it, but Bill Belichick, one of the best coaches in the world, uh, best coaches in NFL. He's got six. He's done absolutely fantastic things, and now he hasn't got a job. 
And you even say to Andy Reid right now, when he got cut, not cut, when they when he left Philadelphia, um, he then found a, a new job with the Chiefs, and he's going insane with the with the with the staff he has, and also the players and my homies, and they're just winning championships, right? So I'm hoping I'm hoping that Tomlin can get back to winning ways. That the new OC is awesome. That these guys that do come in to be coaches, uh, you know, Matt Baker, Mateo, Tom, Zach, have like this new fresh life in the Steelers and get things moving. Get Kenny Pickett, you know, getting TD some yards. I'm very hopeful. I uh, want to see the run game back, get back at it. But yeah, this is what everything's happening now. Is put the rumors aside. It's just it's meant to be. You're cutting players. You're getting new staff in for for Arthur Smith. You're going day by day in the in the Steelers operations. The rumor rumors they're just there to grab clicks, and I'll do it from time to time. But in a in a good Steeler way, who should who should who should I think the Steelers should get that would represent them well at that certain position? Not just saying that Jimmy G is going to come in to be quarterback number one makes no sense, right? I have heard that Wilson could be a chance, but I don't really see it. I still see Kenny Pickett. I brought up the other day that there was going to be Baker Mayfield. He was going to, um, I thought if he came over and, and the Steelers got him, but he's going to stay with Tampa. You know what I'm saying? There are guys like that are pretty, looks like they're pretty committed where Tampa's going to give him all the money and and, and, and give Baker a shot. We're in the we're in the point now where Steel fans are jumping off and of the Kenny Pickett train and they want to find something, want some good quarterback play. And I don't blame you. I don't blame Steel fans for wanting good quarterback play. They want something to build upon. And um, right now, though, for the next three or four weeks, it's all rumor central. So we just got to hang tight and see what happens. Right. But uh, yeah, shout out to uh, to Mike Sullivan and also Matt. And apparently, he's trash. Mike Sullivan is trash. <laughs> 